My name is Gemma Tapp and I'm in Year 12 currently. I've been a boarder at St Margaret's since Year 8 and I'm from Rockhampton, an hour southwest of Rockhampton near Wowen in central Queensland. So I study chemistry, physics, maths B, C, English and economics and also the core subjects that we're required to study in Year 12 which is religious values education and um, physical education as long as, uh, along with QCS tutorials to practice for QCS in September. A typical day in the boarding house for me would be waking up if I have sports training, go to sport um, at about 6, 6.30. If not, I'll uh, wake up at about 7, go down to breakfast, get laundry if we need to, um, you know, get ready for school, which starts at about 8.20 every day, and then have lessons for the day. We go to the dining room for morning tea and lunch, and then after school, head to the boarding house. Most girls have sports training, so they'll head to that. Otherwise, we'll just um, relax together in the common room or do study and that kind of thing in the afternoon. Then we have dinner, which um, is at five o'clock onwards. And then we have prep time, which is an hour and a half every night, and then longer for seniors, so um, we can cope with the workload that we have. <laughs> and, um, and then lights out is at um, nine o'clock, but later if we need more time to study every night so that everyone's quiet. Um, St Margaret's food is definitely, out of all the schools I've visited, um, the best in terms of boarding. I've, you know, every day we have very healthy selections. I don't ever feel like I'm left without enough food to eat and it's always um, plenty of variety and I know that if there's any suggestions the kitchen always listens to the girls and they really try to make the food um, just what we want in the boarding house. The staff in the boarding house are always really easy to approach, they're always willing to help you if you've got any problems and you know that you can always go to them and ask them for help in any matters and they'll do their best to resolve it. And as, as you move along through the different grades with them, getting to know them all, um, you really become like a family. I know that m a lot of our house mothers have been with us since year eight, and so we develop quite a close bond, and you know, it's, um, the environment's a lot safer now, and we feel very safe with our house mothers because we've been with them for so long. And in the boarding house, and especially around the school, all of the teachers um, are definitely very willing to help us with any problems that we have with our studies. We can always organise a time to go and see them for extra help and to catch up. And in the boarding house, most of the house mothers are actually studying at university and a lot of them have got degrees in English and um, the sciences and so they're definitely a very big support network for whenever we need help there. And also tutors come in on a very regular basis to help us with any subjects that we need. But there's also the support network of all the other girls in your classes that you can go to and have study sessions together and really get to know like what we need to do. And well, the sports and extracurricular activities I'm involved in is um, firstly debating. I'm the debating captain, so that's quite full on, but it's also um, a fun way to um, look at public speaking and not have to worry too much about you know getting marked on it as such. It's just a fun way to express ourselves. And then we've got all the different sports. I play soccer and water polo and I'm also um, in the athletics team and I know like lots of the other girls one of the most popular sports is touch so that's about half of the boarding house plays touch so they're always away um, together. In the boarding house the different types of activities we do include going shopping, we go ice skating sometimes, there's always the dances at other schools which are quite popular and then there's um, some activities that are run on the first weekend of every term which is a closed weekend so we can all get to know each other which is just um, fun activities like mini Olympics and games that get um, the seniors involved with the younger grades so that everyone gets to know each other. The environment within the boarding house is very active. Everyone's always um, around. You've always got friends surrounding you and to help you with any of the problems you have, especially with homework and that kind of thing. There's always the group discussions and on weekends we can always spend time together, um, get to know each other more and we've become like a very close family, especially for those of us who have been boarding together since year eight.